This video is a continuation of many videos I plan to create illustrating my journey through the Realistic Progression Zero career add-on for Kerbal Space Program. To gain more science and funds, let's plot a collision course with the moon. This mission is very similar to the mission to fly by the moon. However, because of the science we've gained, we have more powerful engines at our disposal. We are also able to generate power using solar panels. We have two more science experiments we can unlock, an orbital telescope and a magnetometer. We also can unlock the large fixed solar panel. Though we don't require a longer range antenna dish, I went ahead and unlocked the Communitron HG55. We'll need it when we go to Venus. And best of all, we can finally upgrade our main stage engines. We can unlock the much more powerful E1. Our payload is very similar to the probe we sent on the lunar flyby mission. We are able to add some additional science experiments and solar panels. Here, I'm adding a flight controller because we need to control more tonnage. Unlike the lunar flyby mission, we don't need boosters because of the much more powerful E-1 engines.
Again, we need to wait for the appropriate launch window to rendezvous with the moon. Don't forget to connect the longer range antenna to Earth. Let's head to the moon. After some minor tweaking, we've plotted a collision course. Here, we're aligning the probe to maximize the surface area of solar cells exposed to the sun. All that is left to do is gather as much science as possible and crash. This video is one of a series of videos. Thanks for watching.